Hey everyone, Real Fester here. With backpacking season coming up, uh, got all my stuff out and uh, was going to do my stoves and decided to light a few of them and see how they did just to test them out, make sure they didn't get crushed or anything like that while in storage over the hot summer. And um, I noticed a huge change or a huge difference in how they all performed. Uh, how much fuel they used, the weight, and how fast it was for them to ignite or boil water. So I want to take a few minutes, do a test of the different stoves that I have, show you what I have as far as alcohol stoves, and do a test on each one, weigh each one, and see which one performs the best. I'm doing this in a controlled environment. I'm doing it inside my house. Um, yes, it's safe. I'm not going to burn the house down. Everything is contained right here. But I want to do a, uh, where the lighting is controlled because I want to turn the lighting down so you can see the flames better. Um, now, I do have several different stoves here. This one is by Vargo. It is titanium. I like this one because it has the legs and the stand all in one. So you can take that, prop it up, put your pot on it, and this is really all that you need. So that's by Vargo. This is one that I got off Amazon. I liked this one because it has the legs attached to it and it's all in one. And so it folds down real small. Got a little carrying case. And so you just pop the legs out. They're kind of on a spring. Pop the legs out this and then if you have a larger pot you're able to store that secure it has a lid so you can turn it off this one is uh, I believe it's aluminum and it's very very heavy made very well made and it's like I said it's open and it has the holes all around as well this one coke can that you get off eBay these are about six dollars for two People make these, sell them all the time. They work pretty well. Uh, there's a lot of guys that do these on their own. So just a regular Coke can. This one is, this one came with my Trail Designs uh, beer can stove. This one is a completely different design, but it is made with uh, Coke can type material, but it's a lot different. As you can see, the holes are along the outside where it can breathe and there are no holes on the top. Pretty cool. This one is another one that's made out of a Coke can, but the, the Coke stuff has been scraped off of it. And it's also shorter in size. So you can see how much shorter it is than, the, than this Coke can. Has the holes poked in the top and it is pressed into itself. So just, a few different ones made out of Coke can, one aluminum, one made out of titanium, and then this one is a completely different design. So what I want to do is I want to weigh these and let you know the different weights of them and so you can compare for those who like to shave ounces in your backpack. Okay, so let's weigh the stoves and see how much each one of them weigh. Now this is the titanium one from Vargo. Also has the stand on it, so you don't have to worry about a stand. A lot of people put their pots directly on the Coke can stoves, but I like to have a little bit of a windscreen. So you may have need a windscreen, but it does come with um, the stand. So let's see how much this weighs. Let's get this started here, get it on. at zero so the titanium stove from Vargo comes in at 1.08 ounces 1.08 ounces not bad for even having the stand with it this is the largest one and the heaviest one that I have it is the one made out of aluminum it has the lid with the stand it is going to go at 8.04 ounces if you just do the stove with the lid, 
4.02 ounces. If you take away the lid, 2.95 ounces. So there's a lot of weight in these. Now, one thing you want to think about when having a lid is when you have a stove like this, if you don't have a way to cover it up and conserve the fuel after you boil the water, then you'll just have to let the fuel burn out. In one like this, if you have the lid and you have some fuel left over, you can snuff it out, save your fuel. Just depends on if you want to carry the weight or save the fuel. 2.95 ounces. Trail Designs. This is the one that's a little bit different. This is extremely light. I'm very interested to see what this one comes in at. 0.52 ounce. So half an ounce on that one. The taller Coke can. 0.49 ounces. And the smallest one that I have is the Coke can here, the shorter Coke can. And it is 0.33 ounces. So this is the lightest one. And so by weight, it's this one, then this one, then this one, then this one at one ounce, and then the big heavy mama. So that's the weight. Okay, for the sake of the video here, we're going to use heat. You can do this or you can do uh, PGA, um, Everclear, whatever you want to do. Uh, I like to use heat. It's pretty cheap. This was $2.75 for the whole bottle. It lasts pretty good while. So every one of them is going to get a half an ounce and we'll see how long they burn and also how long it takes for them to ignite. Okay, I've dimmed the lights so you can see. I'm going to put right at half an ounce. Now what these stoves do is they the, the alcohol will get dispersed around the inside, around the outside. It'll heat up in the middle and it'll expand and then it will shoot up around these holes creating the stove effect. And you don't get much with it just right here so you have to wait until it comes through these holes. And so we've lit it, it's been one minute Still getting hot. Know what's going on? If I can tell you this, if I have to wait five minutes for a stove to heat up, I ain't doing it. And we're in a controlled environment. Just think if you're backpacking in cold, icy, rainy conditions, that thing's still going. Yeah. I'm just going to let it go so it'll burn out. We'll see how long it lasts. That's we're going to do the Coke can stove. Half ounce. Pour in there. It's already got a better flame. It'll start coming out around the edges. When it gets hot. Starting to come out. Bargo finally took off. Now it's got the torch going. After about eight minutes, this one here is pretty warm. You don't want to touch it. It was still burning pretty good. All right, we'll let them go because I'm done. Five hours, five minutes and 24 seconds. Moving on to the heavy one. This one's the heaviest one I got. Half ounce. Now this one's made a little different. It's not gonna come out the little holes. It's just, that's where the air's coming in, the airflow. So you're gonna get a lot more just center for it to go. So it goes, it starts heating up right off the bat. So that one goes pretty quick. 
right out about a minute. The other ones are still going pretty good. Vargo is still going on a half ounce. A Coke can is still going on a half ounce. This one so far, best flame. Highest flame. We'll just have to see how fast it boils water. There it goes. Three minutes, 23 seconds. That one burned out. It's not quite as efficient. Vargo's still going. This is what I was saying earlier. If you have a cap and you want to conserve, you can put it out. Like that one. Don't have a way of putting that one out. That one's out. No way of putting that one out. Next, we'll do the one from Trail Designs. Traildesigns.com. Half ounce. Now, this one's going to burn a little different than the others as it does not have the holes in the top for it to come out like this one's doing. It's actually just going to make a flame in the top. So, here we go. Let's see what this one's got. Pretty good flame within 20 seconds. That is the flame that you want within 20 seconds. Now, the Vargo is still going after about 10 minutes. So you may use less fuel. You may not have to use as much fuel to boil water. But this one, right off the bat, it's going really fast. Big, good flame. That one burns very hot, very efficiently. We'll see how fast it boils water. To our last one. There it goes. 40 seconds. It's taking off like a jet plane. That is what that one and that one are supposed to do. 40 seconds. That's by far the best flame we've had out of the lightest one and quite possibly the cheapest one. We'll go ahead and put that one out because we know it works good. Here we go. Now we'll see how long it takes to boil water. Okay, now we're gonna check and see how long it takes to boil water. So we're gonna do the Vargo first. Put it in a controlled environment. Everything gets the same. Half. Just like last time. Let's see if we can get it to work this time. We're gonna do the same one cup of water. We will actually measure the temperature so we don't have seventy point eight. Seventy point eight. Okay. I've given up. All right, next we're gonna do the lemon and pot. Same environment. Not even gonna do the regular one. Seventy point seven. Virgo stove is just now lit. That would have taken five minutes to heat up. It's 
two and a half minutes, it's at 110. Fires out. Few bubbles did not boil. Next, we're going to do Coke can. Seventy point seventy one. I wanted to do cold water out of the sink because. More than likely, if you get water out of a creek, it's going to be colder than that. It's going to be in the 50s, 40s, but I want everything to be the same so we would see. We got a bowl. Seven and a half minutes. Next, we're going to do the one by Trail Designs. Seventy one. You can see the other Coke can is still going back there, so it had plenty of fuel. Still going. Plenty of fuel. Two and a half minutes in. We're in at four minutes. That's boiling. Four minutes and 10 seconds. Last one, Coke can. Take a little more. So there you have it. We tried them all. It takes a while for the Vargo to get going. That'd be about five minutes for you to even heat up. You need extra fuel. Regular Coke can did pretty well. Ran out of fuel. Needs more fuel. Took a while. The one from Trail Designs was the only one that performed up to standards. I imagine we need to do a test on what it's supposed to be like with the beer can. Needs a little more fuel. Had the best flame, but needs a little more fuel. There you have it. We, always, we did it with a half ounce. We did it 71 degree water and all in the same environment. All different. Make sure you test out your kits. Make sure you get one that's light. It's real heavy. Make sure you get one that works. Check out trail designs. This one may be the one to go to. It's one of the lightest. Heats the fastest, most efficient. But then again, this one was about $7 on eBay. Never know. Thanks for joining me. Take care.